Hello. Um, so it's crazy time, just so that um, people who might watch us in the future know, right now the world is going through the coronavirus outbreak, and it is a very scary time. Um, but when I was going through cancer, there was a lot of times when my white blood cells were low, um, and I can easily get sick, so I wanted to make a video of some of the coping mechanisms I have for stress. Um, there's a lot of stressful moments right now. I was very stressed when I had cancer and, you know, I had to watch out for my health all the time. So I just wanted to give everyone um, some ideas if you didn't have some already. Um, I wanted to actually start off with something that um, I do pretty much every day of the month. It's called a mood mandala. Um, this is my journal that I keep track of all my homework and stuff in because I'm in college again. So this is, it's probably, there we go. A mood mandala. I have other side. <laughs> All the emotions are colors. So red is angry, orange is tired and or indifferent, yellow is happy, excited, green is nervous, stressed, light blue is calm, relaxed, dark blue is sad, depressed, and purple is busy, productive. So what do I do with all these colors? Well, each day of the month, I mark down at the top. Uh, what I'm feeling that day. So if I go to the more current month, you can probably see my little doodles on the top. I write really small, you know, light blue, yellow, all the days of the week, what I'm feeling. And I'll go back to it, and what I do is that I make a mandala. So how do I make the mandala? I use what's called a compass. Um, I'm going to show you one, just so that you know. You probably have one somewhere in your house. And what this does is that it makes circles. So extend it so it looks like that. This point goes on the paper and the point with the lead, the graphite, turns. So you can make perfect circles with this. So I usually I use a ruler and I find the center of the page. So for this I found the center of, this is so weird doing this backwards, of the page. And then I make radiating circles going out. Well, how do I make all the shapes on that? Well, I split the paper using a ruler into sixths, sometimes eighths, just whichever way so that it's even. You can actually use the compass to split it into sixths so that um, it's even. That's called Islamic patterning, actually. And then what I do is that I make these uh, stencils. And they're cut out of middle of paper, index cards, whatever. And all I can do is I can just flip them along the lines going up the radial circles I made. I can do maybe a longer video on this on my channel. Um, going through the whole process for the next month coming up since April's coming up. And I don't have it set up. That's one idea. Um, going with that, it's basically coloring. So um, when I was sick with cancer, I have so many of these now. Coloring books, I have so many coloring books. These are great. I don't know how many of these I've filled up. This is actually a new one I got for Christmas. I haven't even touched yet. Um, coloring books are a great way to just stop thinking about the world. Um, I actually wanted to suggest these if you have. Just straight up Crayola. These pipsqueaks are like my favorite um, to color with because they are small and they just work great. Great color. The only thing is that the yellow is a little funky, but if you have markers in the house, use the markers in your house. Coloring book pages, you can find some online. I know that um, on one of my old blogs, I used to just post coloring book pages I made of Pokemon. That's a thing that you can do. Um, the other idea and things that I did do when I had cancer just to distract myself, I actually taught myself how to crochet um, when I was in the hospital. So crocheting, it's actually not as hard as you think. Um, you do need what's called a crochet hook, but you can do finger crochet. There are YouTube tutorials on it. This is actually one of the hats I made. I think this one's from college, but I had so many of these hats when I was going through cancer. Um, they're all over the place. And so if you have any yarn around the house, maybe your grandmother has a bag of yarn in the basement, whatever, um, you can learn how to crochet using some tutorials online. Um, you can even learn how to knit. All you really need is two pencils and you can teach yourself how to knit um, <laughs> using YouTube tutorials also. That's actually how I learned how to cast on, as they call it, cast on the yarn onto a pen, onto 
Well, it's supposed to be a knitting needle, but you can use a pencil at, during this time since people can't really go out to go buy things unless you can find a good kit on Amazon. Um, speaking of kits on Amazon and kits in general that you can probably get shipped to your house, um, one of my favorite things to do recently um, is cross stitch. So I have so many of these in my room, it's ridiculous. So this one I actually, I made the pattern um, and I cross stitched it. So cross stitch, they are these little pixelized stitches that go in X's or crosses. Um, and just like perler bead art that you see that's very popular, people melt the beads down. You can actually use the same patterns and you're just going to use um, what's called Ida fabric to build up the pixels using thread instead. It's a very calming activity. Um, I personally liked it. I've taught a few of my friends how to do it. Um, and I make a ton of geeky patterns that now I sell on Etsy. <laughs> That's what I've been doing recently. But um, we actually just found this in the basement during cleaning. There are, there are little kits that you can buy. Um, they usually have the instructions in them. If not, you can um, find it online, find it on YouTube, how to do cross stitch. Um, very relaxing activity, very great way to distract yourself from what's going on right now. Um, and along the lines of sewing, I actually, I taught myself um, how to do a lot of quilting recently. So um, this I actually quilted recently. This is another craft that I pretty much do. It's not that hard. Once again, tutorials on YouTube. Um, this is a quilted case for my Nintendo Switch, actually. So in here, this is a video game character, by the way. That's why, well... <laughs> this is a character from Animal Crossing. Um, and actually, speaking of Animal Crossing, video games, great way to distract yourself. Great coping me mechanism. I've been playing video games as a coping mechanism since I was really young, and I had to go through a lot of stuff when I was really young with my family. Um, and I remember actually when I was sick, I think I played the game Harvest Moon, I don't know how many times, but actually right now, a very popular game just came out. It's called Animal Crossing. And it's a life simulation game. It's very popular right now, so if, if you have a Nintendo Switch, um, you can just download it to the system if you haven't already. It's a great game to basically distract yourself. There's a lot of things to do every day in the game. Um, besides that, I always like to puzzle games like Tetris. Um, there is a Tetris game for the Switch. Um, and besides that, I mean, there's also family games. There's Mario Party. I remember um, a lot of the times my older sibling and I, we would play Mario Party. Um, his friends would come over and we would play Star Fox and all these games. Game video games are a great way to basically give yourself a task to do every day. And I like Animal Crossing because it's actually a little bit educational. Um, I mean, you gather fossils and bugs and fish and it tells you all the facts about them and all this other cool stuff. So I like putting a lot of things into the museum in the game. So I always learn a lot of random facts and I'm always telling my mom all the random facts I learned from the game. Um, so besides video games, I mean, you always have board games. So um, I don't have like Monopoly up here or anything. This is actually the game we've been playing recently. It's called Legendary Forest. Very easy, quick game, but I mean, it's addicting. You wanna like play it over and over and over and over again. I beat you last time, no, I beat you this time. Um, very good game to play with people. Having good board games around during this time is great. Uh, I mean, then you're socializing with people and that's always important. So, I mean, this game's also just very pretty and very easy to lay out. Um, also with that, I mean, puzzles are great coping, so that's something you can go back to every day. If you have a spare table, you can just lay out a puzzle to do. Um, now, I know a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, well, we're all locked up inside during the coronavirus, so why don't I just read some books? Well, some of us might need to buy new books and can't get them, or we don't have a Kindle. So I wanted to bring up um, your library. Should have some way to get eBooks through the internet with your library barcode. I know for the libraries in my county, um, they actually have it open to get a library card if you don't have one already. Uh, you could just get it online and then you can get into the online resources. So if you go to your library's website, there should be a link somewhere for online resources. Um, and this isn't just like databases for research and stuff. I'm talking like eBooks, movies, TV shows, audiobooks. It's all online through your library. So, you know, search out your library, find out what they have. Um, there should be an online reference librarian probably still available, and you can ask them, okay, 
I'm stuck at home, and you know, this can be, you know, any time if you're stuck at home because you have cancer, or if you're stuck at home because of the coronavirus. I'm stuck at home, how do I access the audiobooks through the library online, because I can't go into the library. They have the resources, contact a librarian, or, you know, seek it out on the website yourself. Um, I also remember when I was sick, I used to binge watch like, a lot of shows. I personally like anime. You know, the fantasy aspect of anime is great for like that escapism feel. So I always love like Inuyasha and all these other uh, anime, including Naruto and all, you know, the big weeaboo over here, <laughs> as they called it. Um, but those shows are great because they're totally in fantasy escapism. They're usually very long too, so you can spend, you know, days watching a t one of these TV shows. Um, I know uh, I have a Verve account through my family, so I use that, um, but sometimes you can just find them online. Some of them are on Netflix. Um, I don't know what's on Hulu. I don't really use, I think I've watched Cowboy Bebop through Hulu. But, um, you know, anime is a great thing for that. Other, like, really long TV shows to binge. I mean, The Office, I feel like you can get tired of. <laughs> but, um, you know, Parks and Rec is a really good one. Um, there's a ton of TV shows that you can binge during this time. Um, I do remember, like, uh, watching some of the older shows, like Maud, and, um, you know, Cara Burnett show is always funny. Um, and then, really, besides all of that, I would say write letters. Writing letters was something I remember doing when I was sick with cancer, because I couldn't leave the house that much, or meet up with my friends. So, I bought really big, I can't even bring it up, I don't have it to show you, because it's huge. I have a whole huge box of just blank letters to send people. Blank cards, I used to write in them all the time. Sometimes I would even decorate the front and just send them to friends and family just to remind them that, hey, I'm here. I'm, you know, still willing to talk. And sometimes, you know, it's really exciting to just get that letter back. Like, oh, they sent me a letter back. That's so great. And I had, you know, a few friends that didn't live close to home while I was sick. So that was always very exciting, even if there wasn't a gift or anything attached. It was like, oh, yay, sweet. I got a letter from so-and-so. This is awesome. So those are just some of the things I wanted to bring up during this time. Um, I really didn't want this to be too much of a run-on video. Um, and I might make another video for those mood mandalas um, because I think those were a great idea. I actually took that idea from a Pinterest and developed it over the course of like three years to what it is now. Um, and actually, I'm, I'm a substitute teacher right now and my students actually sometimes they see me working on it while I wait for them to come into the class. So they always know, oh, Miss Queen's working on the... Um, they're always like, oh, she's working on those mood and dollars. What are you up to? And they, let, they love to look at them because they're really pretty in the end, but it gives you a chance to really focus in on um, what was maybe bothering you that day. Okay, I'm going to write down what I felt this day just through colors, and not everyone will know what, what you're writing down because they're just colors. So it's kind of privatized too. So I might make another video on that. Um, and that's pretty much it. So um, I hope everyone stays well. Um, remember to wash your hands. Everyone should know how to wash their hands by now. Please. <laughs> I knew how to do it when I had cancer in 2010. We're in 2000, 2020. We should know how to wash our hands and how to stay sanitary by this point, please. So stay safe, stay healthy, social distance as much as um, the government is telling us to do so. And um, I'll try to make more videos.